Welcome back, everybody. You're still tuned in to The Lowdown. Now, my next guest is making her return, and she brought us some beautiful artwork. Y'all give it up for body painter Mandy Eileen Schiff. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. yes. Hey, uh oh How did you I do like it. Right. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome. Come, come, please, join me. Look at that, look at that. Love it, love the outfit. Thank you. Love it. <laughs> now, I totally get why you're dressed up because it is MegaCon season. That's one of the biggest comic book conventions in the United States. Mm -hmm. And we're so about to be into it. I can't wait for it to happen. I know, And right? I'm glad you dressed up. Now, who are you? You're not just Han Solo. <laughs> Hana Solo. Hana Solo. Yeah. <laughs> it's the fifth version. It is. Right? It is. It's the version we needed. Yes. That you didn't know. No. That. Yeah. <laughs> it's the one we deserve. Yes. <laughs> well, I always love when you come here because, not just because you're a wonderful artist, because that's what you are, but I love the message that what you do brings, and mm -hmm. it's body positivity. Absolutely. It's no matter who you are, no matter what your size may be, we are all beautiful individuals, and you showcase that with the wonderful body paint art that you do. So I just want to say thank you so much again for being here. Now, it is uh, MegaCon season, right, so right. I'm pretty sure what you did for us is themed. Yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely going to be themed. Okay, what's the theme that you went with? Who, what did we do? Okay, so we went back to the 90s with uh, old school Catwoman, Michelle Pfeiffer. Okay. Um, uh, the you know Michael Keaton Batman series. Oh really? The ones that I fell in love with as. <laughs> okay, now I remember that I was a kid, and yeah, that's when so. I really fell in love with comic books. Yes. Okay, by the way, mm -hmm. Michelle Pfeiffer was yeah. that person for me. Oh, like, I can oh see God. you all the words to Bat Dance. <laughs> <laughs> Later on, we're gonna do that. Later <laughs> we're on, have a bat dance we're gonna do that. Okay, so our model today is who? Pure Joy Cosplay. Nice. Now tell me a little bit about the process of making Joy Catwoman. Uh, well, we got a couple props together and uh -huh. then uh, painted the um, parts that were still showing. <laughs> Tastefully done, we thank you. We were trying to keep it, you know, gotcha. it's TV appropriate. Yes, so and James John marriage James, appropriate, yes. yes. James appropriate? <laughs> yes. PJ. P PG. <laughs> Not PJ. <laughs> That should be something. Right. Parental James, James guidance. <laughs> so, you know, like blacked out first and then figured out where the lines go and mm -hmm. then pulled in the stitches and, you know, uh, pulled that on her head. <laughs> so, <laughs> now, if you, look, if you look at Joy, what she, she looks like Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah, she looks like That looks like right the now. actual outfit. Yeah. I even love the fact that right detail up. you always put into it. Yeah. You put the little stitching coming apart. Yeah, yeah. Which happened in the actual yeah. movie. Yeah. Well done, yeah. ma'am. Yeah. All the geeks are going to be like, that's authentic. Yes. <laughs> well, my friend um, from Cosplay Underground made the cowl. And when we decided to do a uh, Megacon themed idea, yeah. I was going, what am I going to do? And then... It hit me, oh, he has all the props that I could ever imagine. So, <laughs> so he let you use that. So he let me borrow that one for this. And I just, it fit her like a glove. I mean, it's just, it was made for her almost, it looks like. That so, is amazing. That is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. I, you know, yes. cheers to the prop maker, Selvin. I, I it mean, was amazing. She could literally cosplay that at MegaCon yeah. right now. And people would be yeah. wowed and amazed. Absolutely. Now, how long does it take? She's and I always having ask too this. much fun. Too much. I always ask this. How long does it take from start to finish? Um, it took a couple hours to do this one today. Most of the stuff that I, you know, I pre-made the um, the bra top and things at home, but mm -hmm. um, and we, you know, took a couple snack breaks or whatever. There you go. Yeah, you go. Yeah, <laughs> nobody's judging here. No, you know so, I'm yeah. not. I mean, if I was doing this without the the constraints of TV time, it was probably about an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah. Okay. Now let me ask this though. You start planning before you do it. Oh, Meaning, yeah, okay, you, you thought of, okay, what am I gonna do for the show? Right. I'm going to do Catwoman. Right. So you had to think, okay, not only body paint, not right. only getting the model, mm -hmm. but you also think props first. Right. So when you come up with a concept, how long does it normally take you from start to finish to really get what you're looking for? Well, we started planning this one last week. Um, but the but yeah, definitely you want to make sure that there's like maybe props or pieces, head pieces, uh, costume attire. Um, I knew she was going to be sitting in the chair with me, so I went ahead and put pants on her so she didn't have to worry about the body paint on your chair. Thank that you. Was for you. Thank, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Because <laughs> I can't buy another chair. They won't let me. So yeah, I, thank you for that. <laughs> that was for you. So gotcha. Yeah, and then uh, you know just made the bra top and then got the other headpiece and I just think it you know it's more 
just body paint is great too, but I love adding costume pieces. It, like it, it takes the costume. Tutus or skirts yes! or boots. Yes, and you've done that headbands. before. Oh yeah, yeah, I love making props. Yeah, you had a my clown. My fingers hurt from making so many props this week for MegaCon. So I wanted to ask that, you just <laughs> mentioned, you actually make props. Oh yeah. Okay. Not to sell or anything. No, but. <laughs> <laughs> but you actually want to take your design to to another yeah. level, give it some depth. Yeah. So you actually add things yourself, like, okay, yeah. I, I'm going to need this. And I just got a 3D printer. <laughs> you got a 3D printer? <laughs> yeah, how do you think I got all this? So in your costume, My you little did, blaster. You made your... <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've often been told this, it's not the size of your blaster. <laughs> there you I'm go. I'm a space cowboy, what do you know? That's right, that's right. So I love the fact that you're even adding more elements now. Yeah. Got a 3D printer, printer yeah. so you, you can, can start doing all the different pieces yeah. and whatnot. I've made okay. a lot of stuff. For you did amazing. Things so far, it's, by the way. I've only had it a couple of months, but it goes 24 7. So. Really? You yeah. just keep working uh, like yeah. that? Oh, now, kidding. how busy do you stay nowadays, especially around like Comic Con, like MegaCon yeah. and stuff like that? So, this MegaCon, I'm actually kind of taking it off and going with my family. You're going to enjoy it. Yeah, I'm going to actually dress up. This is one of my outfits. So, I'm going to do that. And then um, we've got different costumes every day. My daughter and her friends, which I just call my kids, are really big into it. So, oh, yeah. this yeah. year we're going to go drive with them. We're going to hang out. As a we're gonna family. Gonna probably take photos of them all day. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now, the family that geeks together yeah. stays together. That's yeah. my family. Yeah. It, it, this is my first time just attending and dressing up and being a- uh, One of us. Just, yeah. You're one of us a guest. Now. So I don't know where to go or what to do. Like, I got we'll you, I'll out. be your spirit guide. I, yeah, I did uh, you know, get my Chewbacca that I also <laughs> doubles as a water bottle holder. So water. Yeah, there you go. So I can um, hang out with him and drink water it's and gonna stay hydrated. It's gonna be great. Guys, don't so. go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Mandy Eileen Jim. Yes, yes. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Still tuned into the Lowdown, and we are still sitting down with body painter Mandy Eileen Schiff and model Joy. Yes, yeah. Mandy. Again, well done. That this is my favorite look so far on yeah. my show. You've done so many. That works so well. Well, I mean, you know, the thank you for dressing to match. Bruce, I am Bruce, Bruce Wayne. Wayne. Yes, you look awful familiar. <laughs> thank you, if Bruce Wayne. Old money. That's what. <laughs> this is what you ah. look like. Now, uh, Joy, thank you for joining us. Of course, you're great. Now, you're going to MegaCon, of course. You'll be uh, representing the Maid Cafe, which we've had not on the like show. Not like this. <laughs> no, not like that. No, no. Not yet. <laughs> the Maid Cafe is an uh, interactive performance and gaming with our, the attendees of the convention. We also offer coffee, tea. That's right. And it's a good time. When you go, I've been. It's very fun. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely check you guys out when I come out there. But I wanted to talk about something that's a little different, okay? Mm -hmm. Body painting in America mm -hmm. is different than body painting overseas. Now, yes. you told me a little bit about this. Yeah. <laughs> you said the way we view it is a little different than how they do it in Europe. Now, yeah. they're a little bit more free. Yeah. Well, is that a good way to put that? Yeah, they appreciate the, the art of the body just in a different way. Okay. It's less sexual, so more It's not just, about that. Yeah, more just the art, the body's form and shapes are, mm -hmm. are you know, inherently attractive to other humans to see themselves and other, and the artwork. So. Okay. People just don't see, uh, there's no pasties required. There's no, gotcha. um, they don't, they have way more men that get painted versus just women models. Which I find interesting. Yeah, so we, they paint a lot more men and, and have, you know, sometimes full nudity um, mm -hmm. with paint and it's not a big deal. It's not seen as anything inappropriate. Gotcha. So, All yeah, right. there's definitely my paint uh, family on the other side of the pond. Uh, they do some amazing things over there. And it's just seen in a totally different way. I mean, I get blocked on Facebook regularly for my artwork. Yes, and yes. They and it's just art. Yeah, it's it truly just, is. And it's covered, and it's this, and it's and it's tasteful. It's yeah. beautiful what you do. Mm -hmm. You are truly amazing. I think people watching this are going to try to get into this. I yeah. really think they are. You did a great job with this. <laughs> now, I was asking you before, and you were telling me something really special. You mm -hmm. were saying a lot of people, a lot of women. They do it for the first time, mm -hmm. and it's a special reason why. Can you talk a little yeah. bit about it? So um, a lot of women uh, struggle with body um, self-esteem and body issues and positivity and stuff like that. So, um, And I was heavier for most of my life. I mm -hmm. was uh, about 90 pounds heavier. And you lost so, a tremendous amount of weight. Yeah, Congratulations and it again. took a long time, yeah. and uh, it was in some ways life-changing for the way that people treat you. Yes. So that was uh, something I didn't realize until... Mm -hmm. uh, after the weight loss, 
but um, some of the people that I've painted, especially this one uh, case that I remember specifically, uh, we were at New York uh, Body Painting Day, which is a full nude event uh, okay. in New York because you're allowed to do full nude art displays. Mm -hmm. So we are on the streets of New York. There's a crowd of us, about 50 or more people getting painted. And I have this one woman, and the reason she signed up is because she wanted to celebrate her body. She had just lost about 150 pounds. Wow. And so she Impressive. had you know, spent years losing this weight, but her her skin was not the same, and that's just how it is. You mm -hmm. know, you've had kids or whatnot, and and your skin after losing that much weight rapidly, it's it's not the same. No, it's not. So I spent a couple hours painting her, and when she finally got a, a first view of the photos, somebody was able to take a couple of photos of her and turn it around and show her the camera. She started crying immediately, okay. and just was absolutely floored and she came to me and I've just met this person you know I've only spent a couple mm -hmm. hours with her and she just you know you listen to the, their life story about how they just never felt great about their body before and she said I have never felt more beautiful than when I just saw the like when then I feel right now after seeing what I look like I've never felt that beautiful in my life and it was you know that must Hit you so hard. Yeah, it's, yeah. Because it's still... you changed how she looks at herself. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, to make your body go from, you know, what you consider like flabby or, or chunky or skinny or whatever it is that you, the issue that you struggle with, um, to see it as somebody else's work of art, it's almost disrespectful to not love it if yes. somebody else painted on you. That's right. So it's it's like they feel like a different set of uh, confidence because I'm displaying somebody else's artwork. That's right. It's not necessarily just you anymore. And they get to be a part of something that is really yeah, beautiful. Yeah, and it's a living, breathing piece of art that you are now. There's that's, no way to not appreciate that's that. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, as a model, Joy, like, how does it make you feel when you get this paint and stuff like that on? You get to be a mm -hmm. walking piece of so art. So badass. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool because I cosplay. So that's a lot of fun to put on something that I made and like, you know, put together. It probably look like this uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> with the stitches and whatnot. But it's really interesting to just come bare and then come out as something entirely different. And I think that's, I uh, thank you so much. It's so beautiful. And thank you for ha like having me come on again and again. So yeah. it's, it's, we appreciate y'all. So lovely. And it's different every single time. And it's never the same. Like, and no. I've been painted as the same thing before for an event. Mm -hmm. It was a little mountain with little skiers. Yeah. Before, and that was really cool. But every time, every day, it was different. Every day they added something new, they put something, and I was a mountain. Like, that's really cool. I just that is awesome. Yeah, that I want everybody awesome. watching you guys right now to appreciate you the way I do. I want them to follow you. I want them to support you. So can you give them your social media yeah, real quick? Sure. Instagram's the best place for me, and it's Mandy Eileen. Hi, and Instagram also as well for me. Uh, it's Pure Joy Cosplay. There you go, guys. Make sure you follow these two ladies, and make sure you guys come out to MegaCon. It is going to be amazing. Now, on behalf of myself, James John, my wonderful guest, Mandy Eileen Schiff, and Joy, and as always, tight Mike Randolph. Thank y'all for joining us. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Yeah, come on down here, yeah. Yeah. Mike, they love us. They are prepaid. They, all right, nice. There you go. Yeah. I will pay you back. Sure. Never. But all thank right. you. Sure.